Today's game is coming live from still burning Los Scandalous Crazy Donia, where the Porsches are all paid for, everyone's big break is still coming, and the starlets say, don't worry, baby, it's only a cold sore. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers, and lots of lots of beers. The Nuke London Hatriots take on the Los Scandalous Volts. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. The panty wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means MFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they would take my house at least as an option. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and six. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and six. And rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. Oh, he was hitting mid hurdle and fumbles the ball. He broke free and has open field in front of him. But a great shoestring tackle. like our Brazilian season, dumbass. Actually, I think he's talking about the time more dirty trick that the defense just played. Still a dumbass, though. He's supercharged and can electrocute any... Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble! He's got a case of fumbleitis. He's at the 10. It's a touchdown! I can't count the women in the stands that shrieking in terror or cheering. <laughs> it's an alien, Bricks. I'm sure he loves both equally. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> It's 
First and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. quarterback is cursing the defense his receiver the coach oh did he take a punishing hit you ever had your lights knocked out like that bricks yeah the white juice at the boot Hooters chicken wings last night uh, yeah. oh yeah and then, then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier that was just a joke slap but the horse took it seriously not surprised oh that was a big hit hey bricks i'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career I bought a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And that'll be second and eight to go. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. down and three ah, another interception Jeez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path and the body toll continues to climb that's the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and a lot. Uh, uh -oh. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that. First and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and long. see a lot of carnage today folks these teams have bad blood between them yeah. apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck yeah. raccoon rabi blood is my thought always a player's favorite first down and three Second down and five. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Point with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Oh, what a brutal hit! Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but uh, I mean, he was a great ball player, uh, and you know that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And he just slipped away like great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch.
and it's first and ten. so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face i personally think that there's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive a good run for five yards hey didn't move the change of score did it how good can it be second down and five somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First and ten. And the quarterback calls his son and into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pick, the coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. First down. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> First down in a mile. Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Picks up two yards on the pass. Then this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Say goodnight. 
to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. You can't keep a good meal. First down. He was, oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and it's first and ten. to his receiver, knocking down the entire defense. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. even had a target on that throw. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? They play, Kimura. He said balls, not balls. That play was like the offense was playing rock, paper, scissors, and the defense was playing rocket launcher. And now the defense has the ball because they came to play. First down and nine. Blow up the defense today. <laughs> yeah, he was right. I'm the great Kapow! <laughs> Second down and nine. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. 
It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Oh, no, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Interception. This quarterback is going to... Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. And that's a nice run for a first down. Quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. Hey, man, he got it on now. He only had. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? He picks up nine yards on that catch. And that first time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties. No, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> and the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for the Zachman. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all quick? He rifled that one in there, and they come up with 10 yards on the play. Second down. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up? Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. 
Teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally has to be Fritz Matt's stopsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Well, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... And he's running like a moose. Give him a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass. Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And he's off to the races. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. We're back for the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. Well, the game is this close as the score indicates. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. Sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. No, oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. harder than that and that is unfortunate if you don't hear it coming it'll knock you right on your ass touchdown and he rumbles that one into the end zone nicely done i can't run like that unless it's coupon night at taco hell he has better footwork though than me on account of not clenching his cheeks Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Boom, dead end. He delivered the freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Nah, no, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. And a nice pass for a ten-yard gain. Ah, it's not a first down in the stat line. In our hearts. Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Come on! And the quarterback's down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down and seven. Don't worry. If he shots in a gap, maybe he can shot. Devastating hit knocks the ball loose. The defense comes up with the ball.
defense called a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the arm and it would be earlier. I let one rip. I made a really good one, Grim. And then the doors open and the team cheerleaders get on. Oh, oh, that's what small talk is really put to the test. And that'll bring up third down and seven. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Uh, normally, I don't advocate for changing the station, but for the sake of your eternal soul, I'd understand if you want to cut away during this ritualistic dance. Uh, Grim? The, uh, the crowd started chanting. Why, well, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> yes, they did. We're... We're going to go ahead and lock the announcer's booth until he's done dancing. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. But I turned on the one. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked gonna hurt you may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly and it's first and ten second down in a lot One yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Third down and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but what? Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Touchdown! I've never seen a demon smile so much. He 
says his secret is that he's poisoned the mind of a thousand men. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Gwen. It just ain't right. And that, ladies and mutants, is how you recover an onside kick. First and ten. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Second down and six. Oh, nice hit with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shithouse. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. First and eight to go. Not much there, maybe a yard. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Second down and seven. Gets another pick. Man. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Oh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell here. It might be time to change the channel. I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP. And it's first and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't get these reps any ideas, you idiot. Oh, Brent, I just dash. On it. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First and ten. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got bitten 
mutant bingo! All I need is 77 to bite it! Oh man, he just killed that guy when the play was over! Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! First down and seven. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. Second down and seven. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Second down in a very lot. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Touchdown! point but you never know with kickers <laughs> straight through the uprights let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty whichever from here on out. The lineman swants the ball away with those meaty paws. What? It looks so snugly. Yeah, I guess if you're a monster. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And they went to the air and came up big. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, see, this wretched ex-girlfriend signaled when they... And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the pick six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. The punter was killed, so now they'll need to find another player on the bench to punt from here on out. Yeah, who gives a crap about punters anyway? Punch his mind? Wives? Kids? Uh, but that's about it. And it's 
It's first and ten. And he's off to the races. You think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Cells before that hit, they're gone now. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh, his head just exploded. The quarterback, it's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, oh crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The defense lost another linebacker on that play and only two remain on their roster. Their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And like bricks and fouls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck blocking. Looks like my wedding night. There was a big explosion, and then everyone left disappointed. What do you mean, everyone? First down and forever. Second down in a mile. Crunched. 
Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. And as they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Man, what a hit that was! And it's first and ten. Boom, and he's dead! Oh, bingo! Bingo, bingo! I got bingo, Grim! The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. First down! First and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my old smart move there if they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. And that'll be second down and four. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah. Oh. Scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third and four. Goal! If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. But people like it. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you new shots. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Ah, yes. You can tell this one must have gestated and burst forth from the chest of a wonderful chorus dancer. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights.
The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, man? That would make more sense. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He could go all the way! Well, back to the bench. He dropped it, you putts. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. was an all-pro NFL hit. And the Los Angeles Bulls take the win today. Folks, this wasn't even close. It was a total shellacking, like watching a knife cut through butter. More huh? like an axe through butter, Grim. More like a chainsaw through baby shit, because that pretty much describes what we just saw. And the MVP of today's game is just about to speak as soon as he gets his jaw back in place. Oh, there he's got it now. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah, you see that move, baby? No, well, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest, the greatest, I tell you. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.